What's up you guys? I am out of breath. <sighs> Holy moly, catch a tolly. I have been running around like a mad woman all day today because I had physical therapy. Um, today is my son's band concert. So I'm trying to get stuff ready for that. <laughs> Lord, so I have a lot of products in front of me right now and I want to share them with you because these are products that have helped my textured skin. You guys, I swear, as soon as I turned 35, something happened with my skin, okay? I know, you know, every 28 days, your skin, when you are young, your skin is supposed to naturally, um, what do you call it, shed? itself. I'm a licensed esthetician by the way and I probably sound like a dummy. Um, <laughs> cell turnover is supposed to happen but as you get older it takes about 42 days maybe longer holy moly. So when I hit 35 I had more textured skin and it really 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 sucked. Um, I just turned 39 this month you all. 39. Yes. Yes one year to the big 4-0. So I have a lot of products in front of me right now that I wanna share with you guys that have helped with my textured skin, okay? I've been having issues with textured skin for a little bit and it sucks. <laughs> right now it's it looks really good. I have like a pimple here and like one here. It looks a lot better than it did before and it is getting better. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do a video because I wanna share these products with you guys, especially those of you that suffered from textured skin like I do. Before I get started, I do want to say this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm not getting paid to say whether I like a product or whether I dislike a product. No, okay? I don't have any affiliate codes. I'm so sorry. I just don't. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with toners. The first one that I love is this Pixi Glow tonic now this is one that the company sent to me i've been using this however for quite a while before they sent me my own personalized beautiful one i love it because it does have glycolic acid which is very gentle for the skin it helps to exfoliate the skin helps with um, pore size helps with texture um, it's really gentle um, i don't know what the percentage is but anyways you can use it in the morning it's five percent glycolic acid i just found it <laughs> um, anyways, you can use it in the morning and at night. If you're sensitive, I would just try it at night first and don't do it daily. Maybe do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, kind of skip the in-between days. Trust me, I'm a licensed esthetician. If you are sensitive, don't do it twice a day to start because you just don't know how you're going to react. Um, but this is pretty, pretty gentle, especially for the most sensitive skin types. But like I said, you can still have a reaction and you don't know. So just start off using it maybe at night, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See how you do or even twice a week, Monday, Friday. See how you do. It also helps to brighten the skin, which is really, really nice. I like this. You can get this at Target, at pixiebeauty.com. Um, it's really good stuff. Another option that is a little bit higher percentage in glycolic acid is this one from The Ordinary. And this one has uh, seven percent glycolic acid and this actually shows the pH pH of 3.6 which is really good you don't want to get above a four for a pH level because it's not really good for your skin so this is a little bit higher so you want to be a little bit more careful with this because this does work I then you don't use these together you don't don't you don't use these together you either use one or the other so sometimes I'll back off of this one because it's not enough for me because my skin's already used to it and I will go back to this one and you may feel a little bit of tingling as long as it does not burn or itch and you don't get bumps you should be okay like I said just be very careful you can do like a little test I like to do like right behind my jawline right here by my ear to see if I'm gonna have some kind of funky reaction um, but yeah, this one has 7% glycolic acid, so a little bit more. But these two are great. They do the same thing, okay? They do the same thing. They brighten. Um, they help exfoliate. They help with skin texture. They help with pore size. And I have noticed a big, a big difference because my pores are the size of craters in Mars. Anyways, my pores are huge. They are huge. They are large, and where I have them is mostly right here, my nose, 
a little here because that's where you produce oil. Let me tell you this. If you have big pores, then you have oily skin wherever you have big pores, okay? That is a definite sign of oily skin. A lot of people that have dry skin do not have, their pores don't show. Their skin looks amazing, but they need more moisture. They need more hydration. I'm combination. I am oily in the T-zone, a little on the chin. Then I'm dry everywhere else. The forehead, the cheeks, uh, here, ugh, which really sucks. Um, but both skin types need hydration. Just saying, but yes, if you have large pores, that's where you have oil. Just let you know. Okay, so now we are moving on to serums. Oh, this one is so good, so good, mm -mm, so good. I got you. Mm, 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 mm. Ah! So this is the Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Brightening Amine Facelift Serum. This stuff is amazing. Um, it does contain alpha hydroxy acids that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun. By the way, even with these two, when you use the toners, you have to use sunscreen. SPF 30 or 50. If you go any higher, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to protect you anymore, okay? Just letting you know. But if you use this as well, even though it is a serum, you have to wear your SPF, okay? Because this does have AHAs, which is alpha hydroxy acids and it will exfoliate your skin. And actually, I'm not having a problem when I use the Pixi Glow Tonic and this. I will use this like maybe, I'll cut back. I'll, I won't do this daily. I'll use this like maybe a Monday and a Friday, and then the rest of the week, I'll kind of like use this. I don't use this that often. When I'm like really textured, this stuff really, really helps, and it tightens because your girl's getting older and I need some firming like right under here, like right under here because this is just, you see? You see? It's like blah, blah, blah. Now for the star of the show, Laura Mercier actually gifted this to me. Thank you, Laura Mercier. They are not paying me to say that I love this, but I love it. This is the Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose Nourishing Oil. Now this has two different types of oils. We're moving into the oils category. This has safflower oil and it has rosehip oil. So I want to read to you on Sephora's website their little thing or their little ingredient thing that they have here and what it does. So this is rejuvenate your skin's appearance and give it a strong dose of hydration with flawless skin nourishing oil. Formulated with a rich blend of rosehip seed oil and safflower oil, it assists with protecting the skin against environmental aggressors that cause premature aging. Use the skincare multitasker to add nourishment to condition and moisturize hair, tame flyaways, hydrate and soften cuticles. Blend one or two drops with any moisturizer for an added boost of hydration. I could go on and on and on. I use this on my face. I'm not going to put this in my hair or on my cuticles because it is one fluid ounce, it's about $65. You only need about three drops of this for your skin and it does wonders for your skin. Let me tell you, rosehip oil, and I do have some notes, I probably need to look at it. Well, it hydrates the skin, number one. Um, it helps to promote collagen production. It helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It helps with the appearance of acne scars, hyperpigmentation. I mean, I could go on and on. I guess I didn't really have to look at my notes, but anyways. And then it also has safflower, and safflower oil also prevents dryness and roughness. Texture, texture, they both help with texture. Um, removes dirt and oil. Um, it treats um, skin conditions like eczema, acne, psoriasis. It helps give a healthy glow, promotes elasticity, reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. This is really, really good stuff. Check it out. It is worth the money. Look at the reviews on Sephora. Look at the reviews on other websites. It's really good. Before I move on, I just want to note one thing. For all of these products that I've shown you, you do want to try these and do a patch test to see if you're going to have a reaction um, because you can have a reaction to anything, even rosehip oil. I had a few clients um, that did have reactions to rosehip oil from other people that they got their facials from and they did let me know that before I did facials on them because like I said, I'm a licensed esthetician. I do do facials. And so I knew not to use anything with rosehip oil. So you do want to be careful, not just with this, but with glycolic acid, salicylic acid, just all the acids, oils, 
just be careful. Moving along, I love this. I mean, love, love, love. This is the Melixer plant-derived squalane face oil. This is so good. And I use this in combination with this, okay? I'll put like one drop of this with one drop of this, put it together, put it on my face, and the two together actually work so good for me. You gotta try them yourself, but this Melixer squalane oil, life amazing it's great for all skin types okay um so is this one because this gives hydration especially in the winter right now you know in places where it's snowing it's cold where i'm at so if it's cold where you're at you know what i'm talking about or if you're in a dry climate these two are great um so is this amazing i'm going to read to you some of the benefits of squalene oil like i told you it was suitable for all skin types dry to sensitive to oily acne prone um it moisturizes the skin um, it leaves it hydrated, plump, soft. It helps with texture, 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 texture. It helps with texture. It also helps with breakouts. Who would have known? And fine lines, wrinkles, it helps to plump the skin. You know, it gives all the hydration goodness. This is from Elixir. Squalane oil is amazing. This brand I love. Comes with a little dropper like the other one. I love how this smells. I've tried squalene oil from other brands. This smells so good and I like putting it on my face. I just really, really like this. This is 30 mLs. I forgot how much this was. I'm not gonna lie, but this is good stuff. You guys need to try this. Moving on to moisturizers, I have two. The first one is the Confidence in a Cream from IT Cosmetics. Now, what I like about this is that it not only moisturizes and hydrates the skin, but it has colloidal oatmeal in it. I think that's what you call it. <laughs> Anyways, it has that and it helps to soothe the skin. So if you have any redness, if you have inflammation, it's going to help, okay? Along with these oils, these oils that I showed you also help with inflammation, which is really nice. And this is soothing, calming, helps with inflammation. Love this. This is about, I think this is about $65 too. And it's two fluid ounces. Okay, it is a jar. I don't care. Jars don't bug me. Y'all just get like a little scoopy thing. Oh, somebody just texted me. Get a little scoopy thing to scoop out your moisturizer if you're afraid of getting your fingers in it. That's all you gotta do. It's no big deal. But I love this. I love how it smells. I love how it makes my skin feel. It is amazing. The next one is from Susan Simonelli. Okay, this is very, very pricey. Okay, but it's great because it does have natural essential oils. This is their special reserve cream and it's great for all skin types. Okay, it says dry, but it's good for combination because I have combination. So this has lavender, neroli, and mint and seaweed extracts. <sighs> this is about $200 though, you guys. I have none left. That is how much I love it. Like, I have like a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna put this on my hand. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. It feels so good on the skin. It is a jar too. But this, Susan Simonelli makes products um, specifically for people that have pro problematic skin or sensitive skin. Um, she's really a great licensed esthetician to all of the celebrities. Look up Susan Simonelli and the Simonelli Glow and you will be like, oh my gosh, I wanna get a facial with her. And she's out of New York. And this cream is very good. It's about $200. Yeah, I know, I know. If you don't wanna get this one, you can get this one and this one is really good but it's about $200. It's worth every penny. It changed my skin. She's not paying me. It is just that good. Like I said, oh, I wish I had more. This is going to be like a birthday present or a Christmas present. But you know what? If you're going to invest, the one thing I tell everybody, if you're going to invest, invest in your skin, because that's the first thing a person is going to see. Like when I work on clients, since I'm a licensed esthetician and a professional makeup artist, my main focus on my clients is the skin. I want their skin to look amazing, whether they're doing a photo shoot or whether they're doing a bridal shoot or whatever, I want that skin to win. And I tell them that and they're like, what, what, what? And I'm like, 
your skin's gonna look amazing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. And if you are struggling with skin texture, don't make your skin angry. That's what I gotta say. Be careful. Don't over exfoliate. A gentle exfoliator like the Pixie Glow Tonic, or like I said, the Ordinary um, Decium. I think that's what the company is called. Um, this is a little bit harsher. It's a good price range. I think it's like eight bucks. This one I forgot. This is like a massive glow tonic, but you can get theirs for around the same price as this. I would start off with something like this. And then these other products are just going to help. If you hydrate your skin, exfoliate properly and gently, and don't do it that often, then you're going to be good to go. I always recommend, even though products like this say morning and night every day, I don't recommend exfoliating daily. And when you're using products like this that exfoliate, you do not want to use any retinols when you're doing it. You don't want to use a rotary brush like the Clarisonic because that's too much exfoliation. It's either one or the other. And golden rule is two to three times a week. That's the golden rule, okay? And that's what's gonna help with texture. Your skin's not gonna be angry. And it's gonna look better. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.